Your first follow-up is after a month, so after a month we bring you back and we just check the wound and we do um, a pacing check which is just to check the battery is fine, the leads are all working perfectly and then the follow-ups are every three months. Um, what's new at the moment is that we've started what's called home monitoring. So instead of coming back to the hospital every three months for your checks, the companies um, have now got a system where you can have a box at home that's um, just left plugged into a phone line and that will actually send the information from your device through to our pacing clinic. So you will be offered that in the future, which means you won't actually have to come back every three months if you don't want to. These devices are extremely reliable. They've been tested uh, very thoroughly and they're the subject of you know, detailed scrutiny. Uh, by both uh, regulatory authorities around the world. Having said that, no machine is ever completely 100% safe, but these are as good as we can make them. For most people, once they've had an ICD implanted, um, they're not allowed to drive for six months. And that's a DVLA rule, that's not you know, from, from the trust. Um, and you do have to obviously inform the DVLA that you've got an ICD. Some people will only be off driving for a month, but we will um, advise you individually whether you're one month or six months. If you are um, going on holiday with an ICD, it's absolutely no problem at all. All you have to be aware of is at the airport where you normally would walk through the security, you actually don't walk through the security. You'll be given an ID card, so you just show the ID card to one of the personnel and they'll take you around the security and they'll probably just give you a pat down. If you look up, you'll see signs saying, if you've got a pacemaker, come this way. So, and you get to the front of the queue, so that's quite handy. If you want to exercise or get back to exercising after an ICD, um, again, really, we encourage it. There's, we do run cardiac rehab um, programs in Harefield and at lo a lot of the referring centres will do rehab, which can give you the confidence to build up your exercise, but in a controlled environment. If you're going into a gym, we would suggest that your cardiovascular um, exercise is absolutely fine. We'll let you know where your ICD is set to, so what to aim for um, to get your heart rate to, or not to get your heart rate above. First few months, it's probably advisable not to go swimming because that really does move your arm quite a lot. So if you avoid swimming, and when you do go swimming, swimming, either take someone with you or let the lifeguard know you've got an ICD just in case it did go off. When you have an ICD fitted, really you should be avoiding contact sports like football and rugby, and that's purely just for, for you know, if you get hit quite hard in the chest. Um, it's advisable not really to be doing contact sports, but other sports, running um, and cardiovascular sports are absolutely fine. When you've got an ICD fitted, um, you're often said that lots of things interfere, and actually they're very sophisticated machines and hardly anything interferes with them. Things to completely avoid though are car maintenance, arc welding, pneumatic drilling, climbing pylons. It's the kind of thing we don't do in our ordinary life, but if you're doing something that you're not quite sure about, then obviously ask us and we can find out for you. But your normal household appliances and garden tools, they should all be fine. If you've got any questions or concerns, you'll be given um, three phone numbers. So one is for the nurse specialist, and you can phone her and ask any questions at all. You also have the phone number of the pacing clinic, so if you want to phone them and ask them, it could be about appointments or you might phone because you've not been feeling well and might want to come in a bit earlier. You will also, for emergencies, we do give a, a, an out of hours phone number as well, so that if it's three o'clock in the morning, you still know there's someone there for you to, to phone up and speak to.